Who is the fastest shared hosting provider? Is it DreamHost, Bluehost? How about Namecheap? I took my decade of web hosting experience and made it my mission to answer this question. To do this, I needed a website to test, so I made this very basic WordPress website with a single 1500 word blog post. I then installed the essential plugins that I always install on all of my websites, and finally took a snapshot of the WordPress installation and uploaded it to each of the three hosting providers. Next, I needed a consistent and reliable way to measure site speed. Since Google prefers websites with response times of less than 200 milliseconds, I figured I'd start testing with bitecheck.com, which measures the time to first byte. For each web host, I perform the byte check test 10 times, and when I average out the results, you'll see that Namecheap crushes the competition with a server response time of 211 milliseconds, leaving DreamHost and Bluehost in the dust. The next test I conducted was with a little known tool built right into the Google Chrome web browser. In Chrome, I went to View, Developer, Developer Tools, and then open the Audits tab. Here I made sure that mobile and simulated throttling was selected to smooth out any network hiccups and deselected everything except performance. Then I ran the audit for each hosting provider 10 times. I averaged out the performance scores and again, Namecheap came out in the lead. But at this point, I knew I needed to go a little deeper than these high level scores. So I went over to Google's PageSpeed Insights tool and ran a similar test, this time five runs for each host. Here's where it gets interesting. In this test, I looked specifically at the time to interactive metric, and to my surprise, DreamHost came out on top with an average speed of 1.54 seconds, but not far behind was Namecheap. At this point, I knew I needed a more sophisticated tool to consistently measure page speed. That's when I came across the open source project called Sitespeed.io. I installed their tool on a cloud server in New Jersey and ran the test 100 times for each website, and the results really surprised me. Again, Namecheap beat everyone out of the gate. However, when you consider the time it takes for the web page to fully load, the clear winner was DreamHost with an average time of less than one second. So in other words, while Namecheap consistently responds to requests the fastest, it's actually DreamHost who's able to deliver the entire web page first. But, and this is a big but, a huge part of site speed is the distance from your visitors to the server where your website lives. Realizing this, I did a geographic IP address lookup and found out that both Namecheap and DreamHost servers are located in Los Angeles, while Bluehost is over in Utah. To make this test as comprehensive as possible, I used Volter, one of my favorite cloud service providers, to quickly snapshot my test server in New Jersey and move it out to the West Coast. I ran the series of 100 tests again, this time from San Francisco. Results in, Namecheap was the fastest across the board with an impressive average server response time of just 88 milliseconds and loading its pages at least twice as fast as DreamHost and Bluehost. But at this point, you might be wondering how DreamHost outperformed Namecheap when it ran the same exact tests from the East Coast. To be honest, there are a lot of other variables and unknowns here, so I can only speculate that DreamHost has somehow optimized long distance requests better than Namecheap. On the other hand, Namecheap is certainly the clear winner otherwise. So knowing all this, which hosting provider should you choose? Well, based on the results, Bluehost is definitely out of the question. Personally, I've been a DreamHost customer since 2013 and with Namecheap since 2015. Something that might help your decision is how cheap Namecheap really is. Their cheapest shared hosting plan is $2.88 a month, while their cheapest unlimited shared hosting plan is $4.88 a month. For an in-depth review of my experience with Namecheap and DreamHost, check out the links to my blog in the description below. And if you've already made up your mind about which web host to go with, I also have invite links to the shared hosting plans that I use down there too. Let me know if you guys have any questions about shared hosting in the comments below and best of luck with your websites. For more videos like this, definitely consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.